Jumping to why I get to talk to you. So something that really surprised me about the show was that it is not like the Disney Plus shows before. Uh, there's This one has a little bit what I call um, violence that is more representative of like a Netflix Marvel show than a Disney Plus show. I'm on board with this. I like this. Um, uh, can you sort of talk about how it's more for maybe adults? Yeah. It's going to be more, of course, a lot of blood, violence, guns involved as well. And it's very gritty. And it's a different feel compared to what the other MCU stuff that we've seen. And now that it's being uh, maturely rated, it's more intense. Do you view Maya as more of a hero or more as a villain? I would say she's an in-between, an anti-hero, more like that. Sure. I um, You could see, though, how some people can view her in sort of both ways. Yes, you can definitely see it in both ways. It's kind of she has this very nice balance that she's trying to center and she's starting to open up a little bit later as the story progressives progresses. We'll see how she opens up and how she becomes an antihero at the end of the story. Um, I don't want to do spoilers. However, what do you think people will be thinking or saying after they see the finale? I think people will be like, that's all, that's it. I want more. What's going to happen next? <laughs> I, you know, we never know where Maya is going to go next. So I think that they'll all be curious about that. Sure. When you were seeing what you were going to film, you saw the schedule. What was the day that you had circled because you were incredibly excited to film it or you were very nervous to film it? I remember being so nervous doing the scene with Kingpin. And I remember looking on the call sheet for the next day and seeing how it was such an intense emotional scene. And I would say, oh, crap, emotional scenes are always just so tough for me especially with one of the top rated actors, you know, working alongside him, Vincent D'Onofrio. So I, I was very nervous about that particular scene. And I remember looking forward to it and the stunt team, you know, the training team we did at the skating rink as well. Those were very, those were scenes I was looking forward to a lot. Uh, what do you think it actually is? Why does Kingpin, why do you think Kingpin cares so much about Maya versus say some of the other people in his life? Because he trusts Maya so much. And it's obvious that Maya has bowed down to him and revered him as this high entity. Basically, her whole life, they love each other so much. And Kingpin has, you know, it's kind of crazy how Kingpin can forgive her after she shot him in the head. But they just love each other so much that it's just very interesting to see that. I'm curious what you might want to tease about Maya's possible powers slash things that have been hinted at in the first few episodes. It is related. Her powers are related to her culture. That's all I kind of want to give right now. You'll see more in the series. Sure. Um, what One of the things, though, about the series is that uh, I... I say this all the time, but it's so true. Representation matters and it matters uh, for so many people. And so can you sort of talk a little bit about what it means for you to represent, to just be a part of a show like this and showing what you can do and what so many people, you know what I mean? I, I don't, I don't think I, but I think I butchered the question or what I was trying to say. No, I, yeah, I think it's really important that we have this representation in the community. I have three different communities that I'm able to represent, the indigenous, the deaf, and the amputee community. So those all the communities are all very underrepresented. So having this role and being able to educate people and uplift this awareness that we have for all of these communities, communities I am able to represent is so great. And the community deserves to have their voices and their stories be heard. So I'm excited for the audience to be able to learn about all of those communities. On that note, I just want to say congratulations and I wish you nothing but the best. And I really do hope this show is a huge hit for you guys. Oh, thank you so much.